Borderlands 3 is probably coming sooner than we expect, which is good news for fans and Gearbox software. What's going on everybody? I'm Will Strickland, welcome to Glitched. The next installment in the beloved open world cell shaded franchise Borderlands will probably be hitting store shelves in the next few years thanks to a recent update on the title from Randy Pitchford. Appearing at a recent panel at the PAX West convention, the CEO of Gearbox was talking about what the studio was up to. Pitchford said, quote, at this moment, at least 90% of our productive capability is working on the thing I think most of you want us to be working on. So no, he didn't say we're focusing entirely on Borderlands 3. But when a studio with a flagship product like Borderlands says they're working on what most of you want us to be, it's pretty obvious what's going on. Especially when you look at what Gearbox has done in the last decade. In October of 2009, Gearbox released the original Borderlands, but not before plenty of headaches. The game was initially revealed with an entirely different graphical presentation and atmosphere than the final product had. That's because during development, the team felt it was starting to look like every other shooter coming out at the same time, and it needed something to stand out. And voila, the quirky, colorful art scheme we've come to know and love. By 2011, over 4.5 million copies of Borderlands had sold across all platforms, making it obvious that Borderlands 2 was desperately wanted. September 2012 rolls around and bam, Borderlands 2. Pitchford said in March of 2014 that over 12 million units of the sequel had been sold. Then in 2014, Borderlands the pre-sequel was released. While it came to be seen as more of an expansion than a full-fledged installment to the series by fans, it still reviewed and sold well. Both Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel were remastered on the Handsome Collection for the most recent generation of consoles. Again, the game sold well, and it seemed there was no stopping the Borderlands machine. Well, except for its own creators. Gearbox stepped away from the franchise and instead released a zany multiplayer battle arena game with tons of characters to choose from. No, not Overwatch. I'm talking about Battleborn. And that right there is what caused the game to be found in the bargain bin just months after release. Battleborn came out on May 3rd, Overwatch on May 24th. With betas for the games having been available around the same time, players pretty easily figured out that Overwatch was objectively the better game. On top of that, it suffered from twin game syndrome. The term comes from a phrase used when two movies with very similar plots, produced entirely separate from one another, come out at the same time. The best example of a twin game I can think of is Infamous and Prototype, both being about a guy in a city with powers choosing between good and bad, and both coming out just weeks apart from each other in 2009. In these cases, it's never symbiotic. One always comes out on top, and in this case, Overwatch was the clear winner. So now it's late 2017, Overwatch is still popular as ever, and you probably hadn't heard the name Battleborn since it came out until watching this episode. That's why it's so important for Gearbox to start releasing official details about Borderlands 3 and set a date for release. They need to start getting back into the minds of everyone's with the name Borderlands. Borderlands is a franchise that has made itself famous because of its originality and replayability. For a game that's five years old, Borderlands 2 still has a respectable community on Twitch. I mean, it's no League of Legends, but then again, what is? The buzz any articles pick up if they have new pieces of Borderlands info is impressive, proving that the hype for a new mainline installment is all there. Plus, it's not unheard of for big studios to use the money they make off their blockbuster titles to help fund new, more experimental ideas. Maybe Battleborn didn't turn out how they had hoped, but at least they have something to learn from. I wouldn't necessarily recommend a Battleborn 2, but I would love to see another new IP from Gearbox and I'd love to play Borderlands 3 even more. What's your experience been with Borderlands? Were you addicted right when it came out? Never touched it? Somewhere in between? Let us know what you think at facebook.com slash glitch.news. Make sure you like that page to keep up with all your gaming news. You can also visit watchapptv.com to check out all of our social medias and past episodes. This was Glitched, see you next time. It's ruining my life, I lost my job. <laughs> Had a job out of school. Lost my kid, that's right. Yeah, I took him to the park. He caught it at the local.